back to off the beaten path map and outdoor tips. We get asked a lot about GPS equipment, what we use and what we'd recommend, so we're going to address that today. First off, I just want to explain to you what a GPS is. A GPS is a receiver. It doesn't transmit anything. It receives a signal from one of the 24 or several of the 24 different satellites that are orbiting the Earth. The way that it can locate your position is because it takes that reading, that signal, it knows when it left the satellite, so it has a time associated with it, it knows when it was received, it calculates out those two times and now it's got a distance from that receiver to that satellite. So as you get those satellites recognized on your GPS when you turn it on, and they get locked in, that's what it's doing. And pretty soon you've got a location, longitude, latitude, UTM, whatever, of your location and that's how it figured it out. So a GPS is a receiver. It talks about accuracy and stuff and if you want you can go on our website we have a little thing under fact, and fact or fiction on there that talks about accuracy and precision what they really are and I'd recommend you taking a minute and, and looking at that because there are some misunderstandings on it. But for now we're just going to move on and talk about the different GPS equipment that we use, uh, what we would recommend so let's get started looking at that. Okay, here's an array of different uh, equipment that we use. The SPOT uses a GPS system to uh, find its location as well and, and then transmits that location to you through their system. A couple of the units we do use, uh, we, we use a Rhino. We're on the search and rescue here in San Juan County. And the Rhino is one of the radios and GPS's that we use with search and rescue. The nice thing about the Rhino unit that Garmin puts out is that it's a radio along with the GPS. Now there's a Garmin puts out a 530 now that's a, got the high sensitivity chip, it's color monitor, and it's a 5 watt radio. This is like a 2 watt radio. But it's a good little unit, especially for hunting or hiking with a partner or whatever. If you get separated, you can get on, you call each other. It'll show you your location on here, uh, the, where you're at. It'll show you the person you're talking to, and then you can do a function and do a go-to and go to that person. You know, if you, don't, if you don't know where they're at exactly, it'll show you. I have just a simple Nuvi here, and there's a whole variety of different Nuvis out there. Now the Nuvi that I use, I use it and I also I have on here not only the road data for highways and all that kind of stuff, I have also been able to put on here my topo maps. So when I'm out in the back country I can flip it over to my topo maps and I can drive around and I can have that on here. I can go in before I go out, I can go into my uh, map source, put on a route, put what I need to do, where I'm headed, and I can regulate all that right here instead of like the old days where I'd have my map out, calculating out turns or ridges or whatever. I can do a lot of it here. They have newbies now that uh, have uh, Bluetooth uh, functions that when you're driving you can do hands-free calling, you can do a variety of different things. The new ones will tell you the speed limit. They'll have that displayed there. They talk to you, of course, turn to turn. Uh, there's just a whole variety of different things depending on the money you want to spend. This particular unit they don't even make anymore, uh, but you know I paid. I think it was right around 100 bucks for it, and it's worked great for the last several years. And I, I really like them. In the field, I use a couple different things. Um, I have the Map 60 CSX. I like this unit because it's expandable. It's got expendable memory. I can put a chip in there. I can put a whole bunch of data on here. I can use it with the 1 to 24 scale maps. Uh, I can use it with my 1 to 100 scale Garmin maps and uh, it does a pretty good job. It's got a little bigger little bigger monitor. I'll turn that on here just for, so you can see it a little bit. It's got the bigger monitor, a little bigger than the E-Trex versions. Uh, so it's a little bit easier to see. It's got a few different functions with the external antenna. I can go in here and do an average. I can sit and take several waypoints at one time, average them out, hopefully get a little bit more accuracy through that way. Uh, a lot of your functions are right here on the front. Uh, so if you want to mark a waypoint, you just push a button here, go in, mark it, label it, whatever you want to do. If you want to find a waypoint, you push a button here. You don't have to scroll through all the pages. You can scroll through pages. 
with the page button if you want to. Uh, you can set your set. As you can see, I'm inside the building here, and I'm, I've got three good strong satellites. It'll get me another one. I can actually get a reading right here in the house, so it makes it really nice. Anyway, there's a bunch of different features. Right there, you're looking at a, a sample of the 1 to 100,000 scale topo uh, that Garmin puts out. Now, there are some, uh, the newer units, they have aerial imagery on them, uh, that type of thing. There's other units out there that have aerial imagery. They also have a little, you can uh, do different maps. I can actually scan. I can take one of my maps, convert it over, and bring it in on my Garmin. Uh, there's a whole variety of different things that you can do with them. The reason we use the MAP60 is it because of the external antenna, it has a few more features. I can plug an antenna into it, put it on the car. Uh, when I'm out in the backcountry, whatever I'm doing there, put it on the ATV. It also, I like the button function up here. It's got more memory. And so for when I'm out doing trails and stuff like that, GPS and those type of things out, this unit works really well for me to do those kind of things. The price on this is just under $400 roughly, about $380, $390, depending on where you buy it. Uh, but it's a, it's a good unit. It's a solid unit. They're water, waterproof. Uh, they'll float. Anyway, so that's the MAP60 CSX. This is the GPS I recommend. Uh, the reason for it is, is the price. The price is about a hundred and right around $130 for this unit. It's color monitor, 24 megabytes of memory. Uh, it's all internal. You don't have an external chip. Uh, it's easy function. It's your E-Trex functions that are really good. It's got the high sensitivity chip. It is a lot like any of you out there that ever used the Legend C uh, before they discontinued it. It's a lot like it. Now the Legends now have the memory chip. You can change out the chips and stuff. The Vista is the same thing. Plus they have some other features like your altimeters and barometers and that kind of thing. This doesn't. But this you can load maps onto. You can see we got a signal here or saying I've got a plus or minus of 30 feet. You can switch through your uh, your windows just like you can on the others you can put maps the whole thing and the thing I like about this one it's a simple unit there's not a lot you have to do with it it works on what you want to do it's got a geocaching feature if you like the geocache it'll do all that uh, so it does everything that you know for the average person would be you'd need to do plus it's small you can stick it in your pocket. Whatever. That in a nutshell is the equipment that we use and what I recommend. The thing you got to think about is what do you need the GPS for? How much money do you want to spend? Because you can spend, you know, the sky's the limit. <laughs> and are all those extra features really worth it? Are you really going to use the barometer all the time? Are you really going to use the altimeter? Um, you know, the compass part of it or whatever. So weigh that out, see what your needs are, and find the unit that fits your needs. So what we do, I go find these cases. Uh, these are put out by uh, Night Eyes, N-I-T-E-I-Z-E. -E. And the reason I get them is because of this clip. If you look at that clip, it goes over your belt, and it snaps in, and there's no way it can pop off. So we hook our GPS on them, sit them in there. They're for cell phones and stuff, but we sit them in there and we can pack them all over. We don't have to worry about dropping them or losing them. And I'd highly recommend when you're out hiking around and that kind of thing to have it in a case of some sort, some kind of protection over the screen. If you do have any questions, uh, you can always feel free to go to our website at www.otbpmaps.com and email us and ask us any questions that you want and we can, if we don't know the information we'll try to direct you where you can get it. So on this review we appreciate you watching and we hope that you found it very interesting and, uh, and useful. Please join us again next time when we have another review or some outdoor tips. Thanks again.